Wait a second, didn't we do this game already? Oh wow, there's a kindergarten sequel. That's crazy, dude. Alright, this is a series about the games that I've collected all the achievements in. There's a lot of those because I am an achievement hunter, so you already know I have nothing better to do. I make videos about these games because I'm kinda bored, I guess. No, but seriously, after this video, maybe you decide to try out the game for yourself, or maybe even try and 100% it. Join the club, it smells nice in here. If not, well, that's fine as well, I hope you enjoy your stay. If you haven't seen my previous video on Kindergarten 1, you might want to check that out to get an idea about the series. There will be spoilers from the first game in this video. Okay, so, Kindergarten 2. The story takes place on a Tuesday, the day after the first game ended, which was a Monday. The canon ending is the one where you save Billy and kill the principal, and the janitor breaks Monty's legs. The gameplay is pretty much the same as in the first game. You walk around interacting with people, and you make dialogue choices which affect how the game progresses. The difference in this game is the higher number of characters, the improved hints menu for doing your missions, a higher number of monster mon cards to collect, the ability to change your looks by murdering other people in stealing their outfits, and an amazing monster mon battle minigame that you can play with other characters. There are also a few quality of life improvements, but I won't bore you with those, you aren't here for those. Wait. Why are you here? Hmm. Anyway, except for the lunch lady and the principal, for obvious reasons, all the characters from the original game appear in Kindergarten 2. All of them showing character development from the horrors they experienced the previous day. Well, maybe not Nugget. He's, he's just vibing. The reviews on Steam are overwhelmingly positive, and it is really hard to actually find a negative one when just scrolling through. I have noticed that there seem to be a few things people seem to mention more than once. Not surprisingly, a lot of people just love Nugget. I don't blame them. Nugget is the best. Then you have a lot of people that should probably be checked out by a professional because they really seem to enjoy murdering children. We should look into that. Then we have the ones that had a rough, rough childhood. I feel sorry for them. And then there's this guy, who decided he doesn't even want to play the game as intended, he'll just go to class and listen to the teachers. Which, I mean, fair enough. If that's what you enjoy doing, more power to you. And let's do one more. Ah yes, this guy, who's just telling you to subscribe to me right now. Do it! Okay, thanks. Alright, so achievements. It took me 9.7 hours to get all 24 achievements. A nice increase in the number of achievements compared to the previous game. The most popular achievement is Hard Knock Life which 92.5% of players got, and the rarest one is the memories at 12.4%. You can see all the other percentages on screen. I will really quickly go through the ones that aren't just finish X mission or something straightforward like collecting outfits. This will contain spoilers, so if you don't want to get spoiled, skip ahead using the video chapters. Cat collector, you need to find new owners for all three cats you can get from Agnes the dumpster lady. Giving Agnes a burger gets you Smokey, which you need to give to the OG hall monitor. Giving her a salad gets you Gravy, which you need to give to Cindy. And giving her a box of nuggets gives you Tenders, which you should give to Nugget. Kissing, you need to find Bob and Miss Applegate making out. <laughs> Enjoy looking for that. The Memories, you need to place a flower on the Nugget altar in the new Nugget cave. Common Decency, you need to get very close to microwaving a cat, but changing your mind last second. Turning the tables, snitch on Felix by showing Ted the contract. What contract? Well, I want to keep the spoilers to a minimum, so you'll have to find that out for yourself. What did it cost? Collect all 50 Monster Moon cards and press the suspicious button on the wall inside your apartment. And yes, that is a Thanos reference. Overall, the game is a great sequel to the original, and it accomplishes everything it set out to do. You can often catch it on sale at 50% off, at which point the game is only a little over 6 bucks. And that is a great price. Enjoy your Tuesday, everyone.